Hey there Beatle fans, how you doing? Uh, Joe here and uh, today I'm going to take a look at Hey Jude, uh, probably one of the most popular Beatles songs around. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, now the song is in the key of F and if you watch the uh, video of the song you'll see John in the background uh, playing his acoustic and I'm pretty sure he's uh, playing this F position over here. Now I'm going to be playing it a little bit differently. I'm going to be using a capo on the first fret and uh, instead of playing an F chord, I'm just going to be playing an E chord. And the reason I'm doing that is uh, because when we get to the na-na-na -na -na part, uh, the chord positions uh, get a little bit strange and it just doesn't sound that great. And let me just show you what I mean here. We have to go up to the E flat up here. And then B flat. Now I'm not sure what John's doing. Uh, when you watch the video, you can't really see that part. Uh, so if anyone has any uh, ideas or suggestions, please let me know. Uh, so watch the difference now. If we put the capo on the first fret, the song is still in the key of F, and we do the na 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 part. Much easier to play. And also all the chords are in the same area, so the voicing sound uh, really good. Alright, so for all you guitar purists out there, Beatle purists out there, I uh, hope this doesn't bother you too much, but let's give it a try with uh, the capo here. Um, so, we we'll begin with the uh, verses. It starts in E. Well, it's an F, F really, but we'll play an E chord. Hey, Jude, don't make it. We're going to go to a B7 now. Take a side song. Back to the E. And now the A. Back to the E. And then B7. Okay, that's pretty much uh, the verses. Uh, as far as the strumming pattern, uh, you can do whatever you like, but I like to uh, play it like this. So. Let's move on to the second verse uh, into the middle section. So, hey, Jude, don't be afraid. You are made to go out and get a the minute. Sorry, the A. The minute you let her under your skin. seven chord but before we get to the E7 which is this we're gonna do is do a little lead in uh, so we're gonna okay you gotta stretch your pinky a little bit and what happens is we play the E chord and we hit that top E string then we put our pinky on the fourth fret of the B string and then slide it down to the third fret of the B string and now we have an E7 chord so If you don't want to do that, you just play the E7 uh, chords. So you go, then, then you begin again to make it better, better. Just like that, all right? Now, go to the middle section. We're going to be doing uh, an A chord. And then we have to do a descending bass. So first we have the A bass. Then a G sharp bass here. Well, remember we have the capo, and I'm referring to everything as if we don't have a capo. And then the second fret of the E string. And then open E. And then B7. And then E. So, at any time you feel the pain, hey you. Now we're going to go 
B7 a little bit differently now. We're going to play this B7, just, just to, so we can add the kind of uh, little guitar licks. So second fret, cover that, and then put your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the uh, D string and your pinky on the fourth fret of the B string. And then we're going to slide the pinky up one fret, like that, so, and then a B7. So, alright, so, let's try that uh, ending part, uh, so, uh, that bridge again, and anytime you feel the pain, pain you refrain, don't get, carry the world up on your shoulder, but well you know that it's a fool who plays it cool, by making as well a little colder, -na -na -na. no sorry, That's one way to play the middle section. There's an easier, easier way to play it. If you don't like this descending kind of thing, if it makes it a little bit hard for you, you can play it like this. Play an A chord, and then an A major 7. So what you're doing is you have this A chord, and then you're just sliding uh, on the G string, you're playing it on the first fret instead. So we have this one here, one, two, there. Okay. Then we're going to play an F sharp minor 7, and then an E, then a B7, and then an E chord. So this is what it looks like. It's almost exactly the same, and you can get away with it. So anytime you feel the pain, need you. So uh, any version you like to play is fine. The uh, first one is kind of more authentic. The second one is uh, pretty, pretty close. So don't worry about that. And uh, that's about it. Now, um, we just continue with the verses, and then we get to the uh, end part. Uh, back into the verses. So, hey, you. Right, and then we go into the na 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 part. So here we are. One. We just do an E chord, D chord, A chord. That's it. Just. Uh, Carry on. I'm sure you guys all know that. And just keep going on and on and get all your friends to sing along as well. All right, so uh, that's about it uh, for Hey Jude. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, let me know. And uh, until next time, we'll see you around. Okay, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>